We're joined right now by another great Pitt quarterback who went on to play in the NFL. Doran played for his dad. They go way back. Tyler Pelko is back on the fan. And I feel bad to start, Tyler, because I <laughs> tried to include you in our tweet about the show. And I typed your name into Twitter and a bunch of fake accounts popped up. You got to do something about that. People are claiming well, to be t- the real Tyler Pelko, and they're not. They're frauds. Oh, uh, you know, that's just like a that's a little Pittsburgh ball busting right there, brother. <laughs> uh, the small, the the hand size thing, Tyler. When you went through the draft process, were people measuring your hands nonstop? Uh, I mean, they measured them. Um, I, I probably wasn't a good enough player like Kenny was, where they were going into, uh, you know. Uh, measuring like you know how long my toenails were and you know and and all that that other stuff but yeah I mean they they do um uh you know that that it's part of the process right and I I just I think that um you know when you're a a high high draft pick um you know you're just going to be you know under scrutiny um you know with everything And, and and some people pay attention to it some people don't some people you know do it to make a story um, the end of the day, I mean, Kenny played in, you know, they, they worry about hand size with bad weather, right? But it's not like Kenny didn't play in crappy weather. I mean, um, he, he played in Pittsburgh for, you know, and, and there was no issues that he had with, with throwing the ball. So I think that a lot of that stuff can be, um, you know, a little bit more um, t- taken out of context and, and overblown uh, yeah. when it comes to that. I mean, I, I just, my opinion, but, yep. you know. Tyler, how much stock is really put into the Senior Bowl week? I mean, you have, obviously, the, the game film from the season. You have the Senior Bowl. Then you have the combine. Then you have the interview process. Then it's the draft. Like, can a guy go into this week, and especially at the quarterback position, and hurt his stock just from a okay to below average week of performing in the Senior Bowl? How much stock do you think that these uh, scouts and GMs and these teams put into the Senior Bowl practice? Uh, I mean, from the quarterback position, I think, you know, it's, you can hurt yourself a lot from, you know, the, the mental side of it. I think that, that um, you know, that, that's the big thing coming from college to the NFL is, you know, can you handle an NFL offense? Can you handle the sophistication? Can you grasp, you know, what, what we're trying to do? I mean, the NFL is moving more toward a lot more spread concepts Mm -hmm. um but still at the end of the day from a quarterback perspective um you know you're you're gonna you know that that's really where kind of some things can in my opinion can can spread like wildfires you know hey man you know you got him on the board we got him in front of things he can't grasp you know you know you're only there for a week so it's not like they're installing you know uh you know the a, 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 a sophisticated nfl offense but you know i think from the mental side of it i think that's a big yeah thing where you can drop down and then you know can he can he throw the nfl ball can he not i mean i mean but at the end of the day i mean these guys are 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 so far ahead of even when doran even when when you went i mean i mean this they're preparing for this combine stuff in high school right (laughs) so i mean it's not like they're they're not prepared for all the, the dog and pony show tyler pelko with us on the fan tyler when you went down to the senior bowl and played were you told or did you go into it with the thought that the practices were bigger than the game? Were they equal? Like, what was your maybe point of emphasis? I need to look good in practice or I need to really put on a show in the game. What was your take on that aspect of it? Well, I mean, anytime you're on, on tape, you're on field, I mean, you're being evaluated. I mean, that's just the reality of it. Yep. And that's one thing that, that, that they'll, they'll know once they get – you know, in the NFL, I mean, regardless if you're the starter, the second string or the third string guy, you're always being evaluated. And, and quite frankly, I mean, you could be cut or fired from an NFL team for having a bad practice. You know, if I go in and throw, you know, 15 interceptions in practice, you know, on a Wednesday, I can come to work on Thursday and, you know, not have a job. <laughs> I mean, so you're, this is a performance-based business. So yep. anytime you're, you're on tape, I mean, that's, that's what you are. Um, but you're down there, you're on, on, you're on, on stage. And I think a lot of those guys, you know, have, you know, they, they want to, they want to prove, I mean, they're living out their dream. So they're going down there, they're, they're focused, they're, you know, they, they want to put on a show. And, um, you know, I think that that's, um, you know, that's a, that's a big part of it, right. You're on stage. And if you're, you're going to go play in the NFL, I mean, you're going to be on a big stage. And I think that um, they know that they're constantly being evaluated, but like I said before, it's, 
I mean, these, these kids nowadays are, are so well prepped for this whole dog and pony show. In my opinion, when I watch this stuff, it doesn't really affect them. You know, they, they've been doing it since high school. Tyler, uh, your brother, Luke Palco, has been a scout for, what, 15-plus years, um, and I'm sure Congratulations on all his success. Yes, a lot of success with the Arizona Cardinals and the Steelers. And uh, I bet you he's been a part of a bunch of interview uh, processes with a bunch of different players. If you could remember, you know, your interview processes through the Senior Bowl and the Combine with different teams, what was one of the, like, number one or major things that you felt a team was looking for out of you in that interview process? Uh, that's a great question. I mean, I, I think that it depends on, on where, where you're at on the board, right? I think that, that if you're a Kenny Pickett, yep. you know, they're, they're going to look at things like, you know, if, they, if someone wants to draft you, like let's just say like uh, the Giants or the Jets or the Cowboys or, or like, a, like a big market team. You know, I'm sure that they're probably going to, you know, want to see how he handles pressure or stress. And I'm sure that they'll probably, you know, set up some type of, interview where they want to see how you react to you know um a stressful situation right but i i think that it's all a test it's a game they, they want to see how you how you react i mean I, I liken it to to like dating right you know you you you, you date you date somebody right and, and you you get to see them at their best right but then when you you live with them and you're married with them and they're married to them you know now you get to see like all the like the the, the bad stuff. No, too. ain't that and the I truth. Think- Tyler, that analogy just worked for me big time. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, but, 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 but I'm not, I, I, I want to, I want to reference this. I'm not referring to my wife. I've just, I'm, I'm saying that in general, generally speaking. <laughs> yes. Um, but well I done. think that, you know, they try to, they try to get, you know, you in a situation where they can see you when you're not like at your best. I think that's a lot of times why they, schedule interviews really early or really late or you know they get you like after the fourth or fifth one I mean there's so many ways to game this whole system to kind of see how you're going to react because you know let's be honest they're taking a gamble on you know what you what, what they think you are and then now they're you're going into a situation where you know you're not comfortable with the players you don't know the system you don't you know, you haven't played in the NFL before. So they're just trying to gather as much information and then make an educated decision. And that's where all this BS, in my opinion, is irrelevant, right? I mean, you know, I, I always I always would, would like to see, Doran, you know, like if we flipped it on the other end, like if you interviewed like a, a general manager or assistant GM and you said, hey, you know what? You got a couple of D's and C's in college. You know, like I don't know if you're really smart, He's smart enough to be in this situation. You know, they're, they're actually yeah. talking about hand size. And, right. You know, it's it just, it gets ridiculous at some point. And, yep. you know, but that's just, you know, you're, you're in the meat market right now and, and uh, you have to deal with it. Tyler Pelko, former pick quarterback with us here on the fan. Tyler, you have such a unique opinion on this. Probably the only person that is qualified to answer this question. Dorn and I were talking about Kenny last segment. And there's a report from a Steelers insider that says, hey, I know if he's there at 20, the Steelers are going to take him. And and Doran's point was, man, that might not be what's best for Kenny because of the pressure that would come with going from Pitt to the Steelers and staying here. Now, you played for both. You played for Pitt and you were with the Steelers. Do you think that there's some validity to that, that that would be a hard thing for a guy to go from great success at Pitt and then the pressure that would come with being a Steelers first round pick and quarterback savior. Well, I mean, you're going to have pressure as a first round draft pick wherever you go, right? I mean, let's just let's break it down like that. You're you're a first round draft pick. You, you have, the the clock is already starting to tick on is he a bust or is he a franchise guy? So where you go is irrelevant. Um, Pittsburgh would be the ideal place for him because he falls into. Uh, a team and an organization that's not going to be notoriously picking at the top, you know, of the draft all the time. So they have a system, they have, you know, a head coach and in, in, in stability there. They have a really good defense, you know, that, that helps way more um, uh, prep, uh, preparing a young quarterback for success than, you know, just saying, well, you know, he played college there. I mean, Kenny's from, he's from New Jersey, right? I mean, he's not from Pittsburgh. It's not like, you know, that, that he would, would be like me where like, I grew up in Pittsburgh. I went to Pitt and like, you have, 
like he he went to Pitt and he spent you know five years starting at um you know he's a five uh, because of COVID I guess he was there for six but um you know he 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 just can't went to school there I mean th- that stuff can get overblown and it's stuff that I think the media talks about and they just it, it it's nice to talk about but you want he, Kenny to go to a place where they have you know a culture and a in an organization that that can support a young quarterback and groom him I mean look what happened to Ben. Right. I mean, if who, who God knows what would have happened if he would have went to, you know, Cleveland or or, you know, any, any of those teams at the at the top of the board. I mean, Pittsburgh would be the ideal spot for him or any organization that has a, a really good defense, a good system in place that, that he can grow and not have to be, you know, the guy like some of these other young quarterbacks that get drafted to Jacksonville, the Jets. I mean, it's it's a it's a crapshoot. So. I, I think that that's just something that's fun for people to talk about. It's it's irrelevant, you know. But once once he gets drafted, the clock already gets mm-hmm. you know started, and it's a it, it, there's pressure whether he's in Washington, Pittsburgh, or you know Denver. It doesn't matter. Well, let, let's play the Steeler, let, Let's play the Steeler side of it. Do you think the Steelers should take Kenny Pickett with the 20th pick of the draft, even if somebody like Malik Willis, who is a, another quarterback from Liberty, that's at the Senior Bowl, that has big the, arm, big great arm, forty time, four three forty. Do you think that the Steelers I, should take Kenny Pickett, or should they take a different quarterback? Well, I mean, I think that's that's the fun part about having these conversations, right? I mean, when you're not involved in, in you know, my brother, we, we, we get into knockdown, drag out, you know, debates about this all the time nice. over a beer or two, but <laughs> you, you don't you don't know, right? I mean, you don't know. We, the, not the thought the Steelers are going to sit sit there and say like, all right, here's our here's what we're looking for. Here's here's our theory. Here's who we have, you know, ranked on the board. I, I don't I don't know. I mean, it it depends on. Are they going to go after but in free agency? Do they feel comfortable with people? Do they have someone ranked higher than them? I mean, who knows, right? All we know is is that, you know, for the first time in 18 years, the Steelers are not going to have a for sure quarterback um, going into the season. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, because I know Kenny and I, I think that he's going to be a hell of a player. Yeah, I think that it would be a, the, almost the best situation for him to go into. Um, because of the team and the organization, but you know, I I, I would be just grasping for straws yeah. if I say, you know, they should pick them. I, I don't know what they're you know what they're trying to do in in free agency. Well, Tyler, we had so to just give you the full background. So this insider is in Mobile. His name's Dale Lally. Works for the Steelers um, website and does pregame stuff for them too. He said the following. I'll just play it for you quickly. And told that if he's available at pick twenty, the Steelers. Will take him if he's available at pick twenty. They will take him now. My, uh, I, I will scrutinize that comment this way: How in the world would a team picking twenty already know on February fourth who they're going to take? Would you agree with me on that? I mean, doesn't that seem you, you? Your brother's a scout. Doesn't that seem premature that now they already know? Who knows who well, falls in the draft, right? Well, a- Andrew, I mean, th- think about this though. I mean, th- th- the NFL is. You know, the, these guys are, you know, they're jockeying for position. There's trades. There's so many things that can happen. And you're Moving parts. Like, they don't They don't know. I mean, you don't know if that's like, you know, a pawn that they're dangling out there to, to get somebody else to move up to, you know, the, that whole. Like a smoke screen. I, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's like the movie, like draft day, right? I mean, like that. that's, that's probably a good uh, depiction of how that stuff works, right? No, no one really knows. There's so many things that can happen, and in February, it, that, I I don't know the guy. Yeah. But the the source that he talked to is like probably was drinking a couple of beers and said, yeah, yeah, if he's available. <laughs> I mean, like, come on, I, I mean, come on. I mean, yeah. it's February. Yeah. I, like, you know, that, that all this stuff leading up into it, um, and that's what I talked to Kenny about you know, when we when we chatted. Um, is it like there's so many things that are going to happen between when you declare to you know draft day? You just you, you, all you have to focus in is just get strong, get ready for the draft, stay on track. Like all that's because you you don't know what's going to happen once draft day comes. I mean, think about that. I mean, there's 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 so many moving parts. So right. I, I I don't really. I mean, it, it's what you guys talk about every day, but I mean, it's until it's here, it's just babble, right? I mean, it's 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 jockeying for position or trying to move the pieces in the chessboard. They they don't know what they're doing. 
The Steelers uh, and the NFL, I believe, are moving towards the direction of you know a mobile quarterback. We've heard Art Rooney talk about this. Mike Tomlin talk about this. They need a mobile quarterback. Um, do you see Kenny fit, fitting that build as a mobile quarterback? I'm not saying a Lamar Jackson. I'm saying a guy that can extend plays in the NFL and be successful at it. I mean, Dorn, I, 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 I don't know this, but I, I would probably, if you were to go um, down the list, in, of starting quarterbacks now that that um, you know Brady has retired, I bet you would probably have a hard time picking a guy that's a starter in the NFL that's not, in my opinion, mobile. I mean, it, you you have to be. It's almost an expectation. So it, those days of like six six, sit in the pocket, you know, hang back there. The the guys that are coming after him now are so talented and fast. If you can't move. You're, you're, you can't play the position, in, in my opinion, right? So, I mean, I, I think that whole, like, mobile quarterback thing, like, you have to be. It's, it's, a, it's a prerequisite of the job now because of what defenses are doing and what they ask of the quarterbacks to do, you know, in, in the NFL. So, I mean, do I think Kenny can move around? Is he mobile? Absolutely. But, I mean, he's not going to be, you know – 99 on Madden like Lamar is because I mean you know, <laughs> that's just not his game. But I mean you you saw him be able to move around and, and make plays with his feet and, and you have to be able to do that. Um, Tyler, you, you know, make a NFL. great point. Like I, I I think this was your draft class, but like Flacco and Matt Ryan, like would those guys be top 20 picks anymore? You know, like those guys really couldn't move. They were well, statues I mean, back there. Well, here, if you go back and you watch Joe Joe. Flacco back like when he was when he was you know with the Ravens. Now Joe wasn't going to run, but he could still move. I mean, okay. like he he just, I mean, he he could. In my opinion, yeah. Though, like he wasn't like a guy like 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 watching Tom Brady, right? Especially as he's gotten older. I mean, he 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 can't run out of his shadow, right? But I mean, that, that was the <laughs> system that that they put in place. But yep. Joe could move. I mean, they ran him on. I mean, there were a couple of times that he made first downs against you know the Steelers when he had to make them. I mean, we're not talking about right. like being a threat to run, but mo- mobile being able to move is different. So I just think that that's, that's just where that position is now, you know, evolving to where you, you have to be able to move at some point because of the guys coming at, like those guys on the outside, they're, they're so good and they're so fast and they're so athletic. You, you can't, you can't afford to have somebody back there that can't, you know, move away from them, you know, and, and make a make a play. Yeah, I think the next tier up from that, like you're saying, you brought up the Madden 99 is, are you, as a defensive coach, do you feel like you have to defend 11 guys on every play, right? So I don't think Kenny falls into that category. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think he's, he's not – there's Lamar ja- – who else did you put in Lamar Jackson category, Doran? Kyler, Kyler Murray. Murray? Well, I mean – You know? Well, you know, definitely Kyler. I mean, Jalen Hurts, I think, is Allen. one of those guys. Josh Allen. Josh Allen, for Mah- sure. Mah- He's a bulldozer. Mahomes. I mean, like, the way that I classify that is if you play two man, right, okay. which, which, which you're saying, okay, we're going we're gonna to play two high safeties, we're going to rush four, and we're going to man up everybody else underneath, and, and the quarterback, we're going to leave – like alone, no one, no one can get him. So it's either one of those four guys that are rushing, and and if you if you can make a play on third and fifteen, third and nine, and and when they're playing cover two, and and, and make that first down. I mean, like that's that's the type of player that Kenny is. I mean, he can go run, you know, scramble around, make make nine yards, make eleven, fifteen yards in two man. He's fast enough and athletic enough to do that. Yeah. Um, he's also fast enough and athletic enough to to move around and you know make somebody miss and extend the play and throw the ball down the field like a you know like Patrick or or Josh Allen. I mean he's not necessarily in that athletic category, but you know I'm not looking at Kenny thinking, oh man, like you know he, everything's got to be out on time and you know he can't move and you know so I don't I don't see that being a you know a red flag at all um, with respect to now. The Willis kid from Liberty is a—he's a special athlete. Mm-hmm. But do I—I—I I, I, I think that Kenny's more sophisticated, comes from a more sophisticated scheme of throwing the ball. But you know, you—you got to—you know, it, it's 
beggars can't be choosers. You got to pick one. Which one fits in your system? Which one do you think that you can develop fast enough? I mean, it's, there's just so many different factors that come into it. Tyler, uh, I've already convinced Doran to try out for the USFL in a couple of months. Would you like to join him? You're still in your 30s. Do you think maybe you could get on Todd Haley's team together and light things up? Doran's looking for a quarterback to run with in this league. Can I cajole you into maybe doing yeah. something like that? I mean, in my head, I miss it every day. Uh, but but I'll let Doran go ahead and pull his hamstring or do anything like that. I'm, 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 they're, they're not. They're, the, the the paychecks the paychecks aren't enough uh, to to make me leave Solutions Twenty One right now. But uh, I, I wish Doran the best on that one. And there you go, Doran. Ham, ho, you got his, Tyler's his, blessing. I mean, I hope his hamstrings uh, stay intact and and uh, he's he's able to to move. I I, I can guarantee you this. I, I know I know he's still athletic enough to do it. There you go. Well, Tyler, this is There's a scenario. An endorsement. This is a scenario that Pony has made up in his head. This isn't real. I said the same I, thing. You said for I, sure. I said the same thing that he said that if the money was right, I would think about it and I get myself into shape. If the money was right, but they're not paying anybody anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that's uh, those, those days are long gone right now. Uh, but 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 I still do miss it. I mean, if I could, if I could could have you know still been playing in my 30s or in the 38 like like Brady did did um I mean I miss it every day I miss everything about it but yeah you know there's there's a shelf life for everybody and and like Dorn and I were were um we didn't just rot on the shelf someone just like picked us out and said you're expired just move on like you know we we didn't get to rot on the shelf and (laughs) go out on our own terms somebody told us like hey you're uh you're you're done. Like we're we're taking you off the shelf, and you know, no 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 longer uh, valuable to anybody on, on uh, in that that organization. Hey Tyler, thanks for being so generous with your time on a Friday. We'd love to do it again, and we miss you here in Pittsburgh. So hopefully we can I make this the, happen again. I, I miss the Berg. I told Doran anytime you guys uh, let's go feel connected to Pittsburgh. Awesome. Appreciate thanks, it, Tyler. Tom. You're the best.